First thing we got to talk about is best wishes of Jim Ross. Jim Ross had a fall, he said, and his eye was all black, big yeah. black eye. And third time this has happened in uh, several years. And he did the show, and his voice in the main event was just shot. I mean, he had no he, he voice got, to speak he, of. He, he got better. I mean, when he first came out, it was ba- it was really hoarse. It got better, but he also didn't speak a lot. But, um, yeah, he, he, he was hurting, you know. I mean, you could tell. And he announced on Twitter, I apologize for the way that I sounded tonight. Going to step away to heal. Thanks for your support. And no other details other than that. But uh, obviously a serious situation if he's stepping away to, to heal. So hopefully yeah. everything is all right and he'll be back soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the big yeah. story tonight. On yeah, top he, of that, he 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 definitely he definitely got hurt, and um, you know they. I don't know if the plan was only for the main event, but he was only used for the main event. You know, on the show tonight, and um, you know they they acknowledged the black guy, but they didn't uh, they didn't show, and there's no reason to show it. You know. Well, the big story tonight, obviously, on top of that, is the debut of Collision. The first ever AEW Collision show from Chicago, the return of CM Punk, including a promo in the opener, a long promo, and mm. then a long main event. Uh, I think they Good match. they got 30 minutes of television time. Yeah, it was a great main event. Yeah, it's twenty like 25-minute match, something like that. Yep, yeah. and that was really the crux of the show. I mean, I thought the show was very good. Uh, if you watch the show, they had, like, the return of several guys. Miro was back, and they Andrade. did a Scorpio Sky video package. He's back. Andrade was back. But really, you know, there was a title change, as we'll get to, Luchasaurus and Wardlow. Which but, got a big pop. But, you know, I mean, that's, the crowd was there. You know, even I mean, the, it's, it's, it's interesting. I mean, the crowd was completely behind Wardlow. And then when he lost, there was a huge babyface pop because they were there. You know, it's it's the thing, you know, and it's like people wanted to see news, and it's like that's, you know, title change that they did not. I don't think anyone expected it, so that's news, and, yeah, it was a, a big baby face pop. And they had a nice pop for uh, Sky Blue and Willow beating Ruby Soho and Tony Storm, which, you know, um, I mean, it's, it's I was, I, you know, you would look at that and go, it should lead to um, Tony Storm against Sky Blue, but they just did that match Wednesday. So it's, I almost wish that, uh, I mean, they, they put Sky over because it was Chicago and she was very popular and it was local and everything. But um, they could have used it to put Willow over, you know, but then, I, I, you know, I guess they probably don't want to beat Willow since she's New Japan Strong Champion. But, you know, go with Willow against Tony Storm or something. But uh, it was interesting, you know, that they did that. And, you know, I mean, it's, they got a nice hometown pop out of it. So I guess really the one thing I will say when the show was over was the production was great. I thought the show was very good. It was a good but show. when it was over, there was like, you know, what's coming up next week? What's coming up? Like, what they did we, what did we set up here? I mean, really, the only thing they teased was CM Punk versus MJF, which is obviously well, and interesting. That's, that's, that's months away. Well, it's I mean, interesting because they're in the middle of doing a MJF versus Adam Cole feud, and yeah. to me, you don't want to you don't want to get people not wanting to see the actual feud you're doing. Because they want to see a different match, so I thought it was interesting well, that there was I mean, all this push towards Punk and MJF when the match I think that's next is is MJF and Adam Cole. Well, here's the thing. I mean, well, the next match is actually probably going to be the winner of a tournament. They're starting a tournament next week, um, which is weird because we're doing an a, a, an Owen Hart tournament and we're doing a singles tournament at the same time. And the singles tournament is for a shot at MJF. And the Owen Hart tournament, which, I mean, I think the Owen Hart tournament, the winner, and they didn't do this last year, but the winner of the Owen Hart tournament, men's and women's both should be getting title shots. I think that's just a way to make that title mean something or that tournament mean something. So, um, but that's the next one. I mean, I sensed from doing the draw that Adam Cole and, um, and MJF is something that they're going to do, but not right away. And... You know, I mean, if you look at it, they've got those. Well, those hold on. Big... Before before you go any further, this this blind eliminator tournament is this a tournament you're talking about? Yeah. Okay, that's a tag tournament. Oh, it is. Okay. Yes, the winners are going to get a shot at the tag team titles. Okay, well then. But... So so MJF is it's Tanahashi, and then presumably Adam Cole, 
Because, I mean, you know, if they weren't going with Adam Cole, they would have just had MGF beat Adam Cole. Obviously, there was a reason they did a time limit draw. Yeah, because so, they, ru- they don't want to rush to it. Yes, but I think that that's coming up next. So now, okay, well, if it's if not it, CM it, Punk, it, it, MGF immediately, who is CM Punk going to wrestle in his first feud? I don't know, but I thought that, um, I mean, shouldn't Punk be on this pay-per-view coming up? And they did nothing to tease well, anyone. I mean, they've got to. I, I mean, they could they could put him they could put him against Joe, and they could put him against Jay. But it's supposed to be like a New Japan guy, and obviously there's been all the teases of Kenta. And I thought maybe you know Kenta shows up tonight, um, and I, you know, I, I I wouldn't you know as far as you know for the pay per view on the 25th, shoot the angle on the 24th for a CM Punk match. I think that's a little bit late, and he's not going to be on the Wednesday show. I don't think, and maybe he will, but um, you know the um, I would have thought that you'd shoot some angle. You know, um, or just, I mean, you don't have to beat him up or lay him out. And I wouldn't have, you know, I mean, you, you want to do the, the thing, but still have a guy show up at the end if it was Kenta and challenge him. But then we've heard that he doesn't really, he's not interested in Kenta. Um, so, you know, who knows? But he, obviously, he should be on this pay-per-view coming up. Um, but as far as down the road and everything, um, you know, they've, got, they've got two big shows within a week. And both should have world title matches, so they should. We're early for it. I mean, but the point is is that by August, they should be pushing two different challengers for the title. But we're not in August yet. But the way Punk brought it up, it was not like something that you would expect to see next week. I, I sense that as being like a, a slow, you know, just a, a hint of a mention of something that we know we'll see down the line. And presumably that's the case. Well, the show opened up with Elton John opening up AEW. God. You and even, I though, even though I knew it was coming, I, I was still caught off guard by Elton John. It was cool. Opening was up cool. an AEW television cool. show in 2020. I saw Edgar Winter tonight. Oh, yeah? I thought you went to uh, Ringo Starr. He's part of, the, he's part of the, the group. Oh, okay. But I had no idea. I mean, I knew I was going to see Ringo Starr. I, didn't, I mean, I don't pay attention to who he tours with. But frickin' I saw Edgar Winter and um, a couple other guys, too, you know, from, like, uh, AWB. And it's like an old thing, but it's like Edgar Winter was there. So, I, and yeah, so Elton John, Edgar Winter, and and uh, Ringo Starr all in one night. So that was cool. Well, we probably should talk about the Young Bucks line before we do anything else. Well, we'll talk about the whole promo here. But I should okay. mention that Kevin Kelly and Nigel opened up the show. And uh, good, Kevin, good hire. Kevin Kelly is going to be uh, a regular, except for uh, I guess during the G one. He's got. Um, he's going to Japan from mid July to mid August, so he won't be around then. And then he's going to get. He's doing at least one more Japan show, but I think it's like a one shot. So I don't know if that's going to mean missing a show. But AEW and New Japan, you know, they have good relations. So Tony's not going to, like, do something where, you know, it's like he can't go anymore. But, um, you know, as far as long term, I don't know what the situation is. But um, Kevin Kelly is def- is 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 committed, from what I understand, to New Japan, at least through the end of the year. And he's going to be calling the um, uh, tag team tournament, but but from home, which means that he probably can go to all the AEW shows. So I, I think... There's probably just the G1 stuff that where he'd be missing, and maybe maybe one other show, maybe even not one other show, um, depending on if that show was a weekend show, which it probably is. So it's probably one other show in uh, whatever the big fall show would, would be, you know, in um, um, you know whatever it is, September, October. They're going to do like a big one, you know, whether it's Autumn Attack or whatever the show is going to be. That he he is committed to going there for that. And Granny, did you know that in the room right now is an Emmy Award winner? I know. I want to congratulate you, Wow. Thank you. The only one here who's ever achieved anything of value. Nice work, Shane. (laughs) Way to go, buddy. (laughs) Let's see this big gold Emmy. Wow. Look at that, everybody. Holy smokes. That qualifies. I prefer to hold it by the bottom to it as well. Let's get a picture for the front page. Yeah, you want it. (laughs) (laughs) Granny, they say that Washington is a hot spot for UFOs. Is there any connection between aliens and Bigfoot? The animals are aliens. What? So you're telling me that my cat is from another planet? 
Yes. Due to Brian's birthday, Brian versus Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy looked a foot taller than Brian. He's not a foot taller than me. God. He's got the big poopy hair. He's, he's maybe. What is that noise? This was sure. with you and Vinny against uh, Chris Dreisack and Ideal Mexican. Mexican. Mexican yeah. Yes. Brian pulled uh, Chris's panties down in the back. Yeah. His panties. <laughs> yeah, he saw his Dreisack. <laughs> S-A-J-W-N-G-A. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.